Hello everyone. My name is Song Wei. I'm come from Shizhou University of Technology. Uh, it is with great pleasure that I'm presenting the talk today in the first official European Conference on Fracture. This focus of my talk will be on the multi of low cycle fatigue uh, of notch stressment for high strength steel and its undermatched words. I'd like to acknowledge the support of the funding of the fundamental agency and industry partners. This particular presentation is dealing uh, the notch uh, multi fatigue behavior of high strength steel but as part of a larger project of uh, designed, analyzed, as, uh, as well as manufactured ship and uh, some world structures. Uh, my, uh, my talk uh, contains five uh, uh, parts. The first one is uh, motivation. The second one is uh, uh, low cycle. Fatigue experiment. A third is the result about the uh, fatigue results. Uh, the the fourth is the prediction model for notch specimen. The five is uh, the mm, some background and motivation for the work. As many of you know, you may know will in the future uh, industry development is that to reduce the weight of uh, world structure. Uh, such as the shipbuilding or the marine structures, one of the effective way to enhance the light weight of structures is to increase the strength of the steel for for decreasing uh, the thickness of the plane. It's dealing with very uh, a conventional uh, material, and uh, how about the performance under the multi exo cycle? Uh, service loading condition and uh, especially for the welded joint of the high strength steel sometimes it uh, don't have the uh, corresponding welded filler so uh, it may uh, it may bring some the detrimental problems such as the hydric induced cracking the softening of a uh, uh, head effect zone or the decline of the softness for these problem, uh, problems, uh, the solution uh, can be found from two uh, directions. The first one is the world processing, mm -hmm. such as the lawyer, the, the, uh, the, the input energy, or the preheating, or the post uh, head treatment. Um, another direction is to choose the different uh, um, strength materials. So. It will bring the mismatch welded joint of a high strength steel. So, the next question just uh, to uh, how to access the multi exo fatigue uh, strength uh, for the undermarched uh, welded. Uh, <clears throat> so, in for our study, uh, M in M2 and uh, the Investigation the multi exo not fatigue property of the base metal and the weld, uh, welded metal. Uh, the second is about the, uh, the, 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 the low cycle fatigue of the undermatched weldments. And um, uh, we should to, uh, to, to propose some of the different. Uh, or simplify the multi exo fatigue model for the notch specimen. So we can use in this uh, result to uh, apply our um, uh, assessment of the welded structures. The specimen uh, of uh, the best metal and the undermatched wells are cut from the uh, plane, uh, the welded plane, and uh, as we can see from the picture, we can um, the 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 the, the stress of the best metal are uh, higher than the undermatched uh, uh, about about uh, uh, twenty percent. So 
Mm, the mismatch ratio is about 0.58. Uh, as we can see from the picture A and B, uh, there are the cyclic loading fatigue test of data. data. Uh, as we can see, uh, it shows the soften uh, the cyclic soften behavior uh, for both of the materials. And uh, according to the, uh, the cyclic data, and we can we can get the different uh, uh, parameters about the uh, rubber the re relationships. So the this uh, param this uh, result data uh, are summarized in this table. The details. Uh, uh, of the experiment, experimental investigation to character the uh, both the worded and the best metal uh, uh, properties were conducted as follows: um, the specimen, the not specimen of best metal and uh, awarded are cut it from the the world plan, and uh, they are manufactured into. The bar, uh, the bar ship, uh, the diameter of this specimen is uh, uh, 14 millimeter, and the notch tips is about uh, the 3.5 millimeter. There are two types of uh, uh, notch radius, uh, which are presented, which are presented uh, as 0 0.2 millimeter and 1 millimeter. Uh, the fatigue tests are conducted by using uh, MTS hydraulic controlled loading frames, and the fatigue test uh, loading uh, uh, loading is uh, uh, is about the proportional and the 19 degree no, uh, non-proportional force. The the frequency. Uh, in the range of uh, five to uh, from uh, from five to ten hertz, and uh, the stress ratio is about uh, uh, negative one. The multi exo fatigue data are summarized in slide. As we can see from the first and second pictures. Um, the fatigue life under the in-phase uh, proportional loading are higher than the than the 19 degree out of phase non-proportional uh, pr proportional uh, fatigue loading, uh, and the the, uh, um, and the the conclusion from the second picture can draw the uh, same. The same conclusions. Uh, when we uh, collect the fatigue data into the uh, into this figure, um, and uh, we can see that the 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 effect of non-proportionality uh, on the fatigue life uh, is more obvious than the effect of notch geometry. Uh, however, when we uh, However, regarding to the under much uh, um, awarded the fatigue life under different uh, notch radius, uh, there uh, there's there's some slight influence uh, on the uh, loss cycle fatigue. And uh, finally, we summarized this data mm, uh, uh, from the best metal and the uh, under much the words. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> here, uh, uh, so we can draw. Uh, so for these materials, for these materials, mismatch effect uh, on the matrix or low cycle fatigue of a notch specimen seems to be slight influenced, and the non pro personality effect has obvious effect on the low cycle fatigue. The different uh, uh, multi exo fatigue models to predict the fatigue life uh, for the notch specimen. Uh, also, we proposed uh, the mm, a new a new model for multi exo fatigue uh, fatigue uh, prediction based on the SWT model 
uh, by combining with the stress concentration factor and the uh, um, non proportional factor and the hardening material proper parameters. Uh, the, we, we choose the first three uh, models are based on the shear strain or normal strain and to uh, to predict the fatigue the fatigue damage and uh, uh, the match attrition per model and uh, uh, my proposed model are based on the uh, energy parameters so I think uh, this model uh, from uh, this model is from SWT model is the simplified model to pre to predict the fatigue life of notch specimens. Uh, this is the um, computational procedural of uh, uh, from two different direction just uh, to get the stress screen and the, the next direction is to uh, to uh, obtain the uh, energy damage parameters and uh, finally we can predict uh, the multi exo fatigue uh, uh, fatigue life uh, based on the Apex and the MATLAB uh, software um, another factor we should uh, consider we should consider is about the uh, stress or strain energy grain gradient characterized so we choose the um, critical dis distance theory to get the, the normal stress, the shear stress or effective strain uh, energy uh, by expression of the gradient expression. So uh, the, the distance uh, of uh, <coughs> the stress uh, 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 are very uh, are dependent on the uh, loading on the on the on the multi axle loading finally we, we will get different the uh, effective uh, uh, distance prediction results from different multi axle models are presented in this slide as we can see from this result uh, uh, looking at the fatigue life prediction life for two uh, loading passes that can be over, uh, observed that uh, all the fatigue life uh, prediction are within a band of uh, plus and minus three which can be considered to be a good uh, uh, reliable prediction uh, uh, and the, uh, the result prediction uh, from the proposed model are more uh, current than other models. A scattered degree of uh, prediction result from different multi of fatigue models uh, can be expressed by the root mean square error or mean absolute error parameters and the equation for these parameters are um, showing as follows uh, and uh, the prediction results uh, by these parameters are showing uh, from two figures this result uh, for the green uh, for the green bar gives more uh, better gives better uh, prediction results than other models um, this is mean that um, our proposed model can give uh, more uh, accurate uh, prediction of the multi exo fatigue life for the notch uh, specimens uh, and next and finally we consider uh, we consider the effect of uh, the multi additional hardening factor on the fatigue life prediction so uh, according to fs uh, fs model the range of additional a handling uh, factor is uh, from 0 to 0.3 to 0 0.8 the factor has the slight effect on the error scatter so finally we get the value of uh, 0 0.5 gives great uh, um, prediction of the fatigue life can be a drawing 
uh, as follows. The first one is mismatch effect uh, in welded joint seems to be no obvious influence on multi fatigue life. The second is non-proportionality degree of multi fatigue uh, loading is the main effect on the fatigue life of notch specimens. The third is the proposed multi fatigue model for the notch specimens can give more accurate life prediction compared uh, to compared other models. Uh, the third, the fourth is uh, additional hardening factor 0.5 seems to have more accurate life prediction than other values.